feeling like being in the dressing room since the, the defeat of the North last Friday? Yeah, well look, uh, we're fine. Um, you know, like uh, we're disappointed we didn't get any points up there, unfortunately not. But uh, we've been on a big game now on Friday, and hopefully we can put everything that went wrong um, last Friday, like uh, going into this Friday. So hopefully that we can get the uh, three points that we want. Just how big a game is it? Like taking on the runway of lead leaders on Friday night. Yeah, well look, every game is a big game. You know, uh, we want to win every game. Um, but uh, we'll definitely be up for this one, and uh, hopefully the crowd will uh, come behind us again, like uh, the last game that we had at home against Bow. So um, again, we're really looking forward to it. I know they've played two more games, but they have been very impressive so far this season, haven't they? Yeah, well, the, look, uh, they're a big, they're a big team, you know. Um, Shamrock Rovers are always expected to win games, so they are. But um, look, uh, they've started well, but uh, hopefully that we can stop them on Friday. Looking forward to going to uh, with uh, Greg Bolger on Friday night. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Look, uh, Greg's a Greg was a great player here, so he was, and uh, he's doing really well up there now. So, but um, hopefully that we can get the better of him. And, and Connor, to, to what extent do you actually look at the guys you're going to be up against in, in the midfield battle ahead of the game, or do you try and not get too bogged down with and, and focus on yourself? No, not really. Look, uh, we try and concentrate on our own game as much as we can, and obviously when they have the ball, that we quite to stop them. You know, like yeah, we keep them like, uh, as far away from our goal as possible. Um, look, uh, they have a lot of quality, but a lot of teams in the league have a lot of quality. Um, so look, uh, we're not afraid of anyone. Of course, we're not. Um, look, yeah, we've proven that over the last few years. So, really looking forward to Friday. And have you been pleased with your own form this season? Look, yeah, it's been okay. Yeah, I'm um, happy enough. Look, uh, there's a lot of areas that I, that I can improve and I can get better. Um, I'm trying to work on that every day, like in the training ground, and, and give 110 percent every game. So, look. Um, it's unfortunate there that we haven't picked up uh, a couple of more points since the start of the season, but uh, we look forward to it now and uh, hopefully we can uh, win on Friday. And what do you think were, were the main things that went wrong in Oil Park? Well, um, like we were unfortunate, you know, I had to concede um, in the first half. I thought we defended pretty well. Um, look, uh, a lapse of concentration maybe um, at, a crush, like at a crucial uh, minute yeah. in the game. If we could have got in at half time. At, <coughs> You know, and nil nil there, we would have been happy with that. Um, it's just unfortunate the way the goal went in. Um, look, uh, like uh, sometimes that happens in games, and unfortunately, then uh, that we didn't get any points. And um, I presume you're hoping the Friday night will be similar to the Bowes game, like they were coming down here in a good run of form, and you probably produced probably your best performance of the season. Yeah, well, look, any team will struggle down here, you know, like uh, once we're out and the crowd's behind us, it's it's a real fortress down here. I know myself, I come down and play in, like, in Turner's Cross against a like a good Cork team, it's really hard to get going sometimes. So, yeah, um, hopefully, then that we can start well now and fight and, um, you know, I'll be right in the face. Connor, the owner said, you only at home to win the match, but how damaging would a defeat be? In terms look, it will of, be tough. In terms of the title. Yeah, uh, like any defeat, you know, a Cork is like it's a big, it's a big thing for us, you know, it's like yeah, we don't take defeats too lightly. Um, you know, so we go out, as I said there earlier, uh, we go out to win every game, uh, home or away against any team. Because we're well capable of doing it, we've a lot of quality in the dressing room, and like, we believe that we can beat anyone. Um, look, uh, it will be tough, but it won't be the end of the, you know, like at the end of the road. Look, uh, there's plenty of games to go, and but uh, like uh, we'll be definitely ready Friday. And uh, hopefully, as I said, uh, three points coming away. We were just sent to John earlier about Rovers or have opened up the gap. They are top of the table. They have, <coughs> they have everybody has games in hand. And, but as a player, would you prefer to have the points on the board? Or the games in hand, if you know what I mean. Oh uh, yeah, well, possibly. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're probably better player. off. Yeah, you're probably better off having the, the game because there's a lot of games coming up now in April, and you know, uh, Friday, Mondays, Friday, Mondays, and you know, like uh, they are tough. They are tough in teams, and um, so you probably would rather have like have the games and the points on the board, you know. But look, uh, that's just the way it is, fortunately. Like, and uh, like yeah, we just go out to win every game. Just in the captaincy issue, Connor, you were captain last year, not captain this year. Do you feel it was a burden last year? Do you feel you're free this year by not having the airman? No, I, I don't think it makes any difference. I think, like, if you watch my style of play, I don't think it's changed any bit at all. Um, you know, like, I go out to uh, give 110% in every like in every game, and I like to, you know, like, a lead in the middle, like, mm -hmm. uh, regardless of the airman or not. Uh, you know, like, it was a, it was a great honour to uh, captain the club last year, and look, I pass it on now this year, so look, I don't think anything's changed.